This is the Philippines, a country of 94 million people. We are a young democratic country, having been under the military regime of the late dictator Ferdinand Marcos for 20 years. Since democracy was restored in 1986, genuine freedom remains elusive. Activists and journalists are being killed up to this day. Some disappear in the middle of the night without a single trace of footprint left behind. I am Edith Burgos. I am the mother of Jonas, the missing activist. My son Jonas was abducted by five people. Student activists have also become targets. In 2006, two of our students went missing because of, allegedly because uh, they were abducted by the military. Uh, the case went up to the Supreme Court and is currently uh, a criminal case. However, we wanted to put a political angle to the case because this is clearly a state-sanctioned um, abduction. Journalists, too, are being killed. Out of 150, sampu lang yung may convictions. Master, ah, puro pa to trigger men. Uh -huh. So, tapos, 150 yung napapatay, ilan nito, more than two-thirds, walang mangyayari sa'yo pag binugbog mo yung isang media man o yung journalist dahil hindi mo gusto yung sinulat. Fighting impunity is an uphill battle, but the people are not giving up. Every day, through images, exhibits, and in the courtrooms, the struggle continues. The internet, through online campaigns, is also used as a battleground. And the struggle will go on until each and every perpetrator is brought to justice. Hello, my name is Laka. I am from Chile. And I am going to share with you the case of the Mapuche people. The Mapuches are indigenous native people across southern and central Chile and they make up about 5% of the Chilean population. Human rights violations against Mapuche people by the police and other government agencies are still a matter of concern. Since the time of the Spanish conquest of Latin America till now, the Mapuche people are struggling for the right on ancestral land. Today, this fight is not against the Spanish invasion, but against the forest industry. This is not a struggle only on saving the forest, but also against the human rights violations in Chile. There have been many human rights violation cases against the Mapuche people. Even the government invoked a draconian anti-terrorism act from the Pinochet era against the Mapuche protesters. Police atrocities are on rise in the Mapuche dominant areas, and the government has branded them as terrorists. The educated Mapuche youngsters and the Mapuche diaspora are making efforts to have their voices heard around the world by using social and electronic media. The marginalized Mapuche community is trying to use the internet and other platforms to voice their concerns. Although the internet penetration is low in the Mapuche inhabited areas, the very few members of the community have access to modern education and internet. The Mapuche students and diaspora have started several blogs and pro-Mapuche websites. Using this platform, they try to connect to the global community for support of the cause and publish articles on atrocities and repression by the Chilean government against the people who are fighting for indigenous rights on their ancestral land. Like any other local community, it is hard for the Mapuche people to make the government to fulfill their aspirations. The only hope for the Mapuches is the help of the global community.
in my personal experience the biggest hurdle nepali women face are the cultural barriers girls are taught from young age to follow and to accept they are molded to be caretakers and managers to please the authority and to accept their fate women and girls live in a totally different era human trafficking is rampant and women are confined to traditional roles development whatever little nepal has achieved is yet to reach these communities in remote villages it's even worse cattle is treated better than women Online activism is a totally new concept for Nepal as the um, internet is beyond the reach of majority of people um, it is seen as the tool of the rich I'm traveling to Lahore, Rawalpindi and Islamabad to learn about the ongoing human rights violations in the country. The focus is on religious freedom as a basic human right. And in this video I'm going to discuss the issue with a few activists. Well see article 18 of the UDHR basically talks about the freedom of thought, expression and religion. And I think it really depends. Like when you're talking about curtailing of such freedoms, nobody can stop you from thinking or believing what you're thinking and believe it, right? But it's only a matter of expression, I think, that is sometimes curtailed, and that too it depends in what atmosphere you're speaking in. So if you're sitting at home and you're talking about different things, then I think you have the freedom to do that. But uh, obviously, with such um, extremist point of views and with so much polarization in Pakistani society. one has to be careful when expressing their thoughts and i wouldn't say you have to be ex- uh, careful of what you say but what you have to be careful is how you express it unfortunately although our country is signatory to the uh, un uh, charter but in pakistan we don't have unfortunately all those freedoms for example uh, uh, you know people belonging to different sex of islam are discriminated against uh, they are uh, even killed just for uh, having a certain interpretation of islam even the more shocking reaction was the way the murderer was glorified by the masses and was celebrated as a hero Most of the activists I interviewed believe that state institutions have a role to play in triggering the religious violence. You have all these extremist organizations that are killing Shias, that are killing minorities, that are uh, targeting Ahmadis, and all of these in one way or the other, the government has a res- responsibility to stop these organizations, but they're not doing that. There's a group of activists who have successfully reached out to the masses. through the combination of music and social media ate kaat di bane anwabe ate hero ajmal kasabe mulan se aave chih jaabe ate abd salam nu puchde koi nahi eh 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 meri maa ne pakaye alu ande eh 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 meri gaane mainu lagde ne gande the band begarat brigade literally the shameless brigade have received hundreds of thousands of video views on youtube alone main dikhaunga chicken di poti ode naal sameer di roti paave ho chai chicken to mehangi da eh 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 man lagde ne gande eh Thank <laughs> you.